Hi, so in this video, I'm going to introduce to you what is the conditional statement in Python programming language. If you are familiar with uh, other programming languages, uh, you will, uh, you know, you would have already understood what what are conditional statements. Um, so in this particular uh, video, I'm going to use um, the uh, conditional statements. I'm going to uh, talk about what are conditional statement uh, like if. Uh, else if uh, and else statements uh, and uh, we'll just learn how, how to use them okay so let's get started all right so to do that so I'll just define let's say two variables so X let's uh, assign it as uh, 5 and then Y I'll assign it uh, let's say 10 okay now I want to check if x is equal to y and based on that condition I want to print something okay so the syntax is like this if x equal to y print x equals y x all right so what I'm doing here is that I'm uh, putting a condition here if x is equal to y then print x equals y and print something you can print anything or you can do any uh, uh, you know anything you, you want to do okay it's, it's not just printing you can do a lot of other things like uh, let's say uh, we can do let's say we can you know create or do some mathematical operation on this um, y uh, say let's say z equal to x square and then again print print z okay so if x equal uh, equals y then it's going to do a following activities it's going to print x equals y and then it's going to uh, do uh, uh, you know take the square of x and you know uh, assign it to the variable z and then it's going to print z so all these activities will be done um, only if x equal to y right and then let's save this and uh, let's run this okay now it doesn't print anything why is it so because uh, the condition is not met or it's not true x is not equal to true in this case x is 5 and y is uh, 10 you might have this question in mind that why am i using two double um, or two equal signs okay so uh, when when we use uh, only a single equal sign it, it means the assignment operator it's not equal to and that's different right uh, so when I'm saying x equal to 5 5 is being assigned to x that's why it's only a single uh, uh, you know equal to sign but if I make it like this I am trying to check if x is equal to 5 no, that's the difference okay so for equal to operator in most programming language you use double equal signs okay so that's the way we're going to use okay so let's make y and x both same and we know for sure that these two are same and then uh, you know the condition will be made so if condition will be true and then um, the uh, three activities or three different things are going to uh, be performed um, all right so let's save this and then f5 and then you can see uh, it prints x equal to y and it also add this two number or sorry it, it takes the square of x and uh, print it prints it for us like right? it's 25 all right now we can also uh, use uh, different types of operators like uh, if x is greater than y okay and let's say we we'll make it 8 all right so when we run this it's also going to do the same thing right because this condition is made x is greater than y similarly you can also use x is less than y so in this case if you do less than y it's not going to run I mean it's the code is going, going to run fine but uh, won't be anything in the output because the condition is not met right all right so we don't get anything as as we are expecting so because the condition is not x is not 
less than 5 as you can see here right also you can also have multiple uh, condition at the same time okay uh, let's say uh, we define some okay p uh, p is let's say 10 p is let's say 2 um, p so so there are multiple conditions in this case okay if y is is greater than x and sorry y is greater than p and less than x then then uh, it's going to print okay um, it's going to print let's say y is less than y and greater than p okay all right so if y is is less than x and greater than p then it's going to print this statement right? which is which is also expected because you can see y is greater than uh, x in this case and sorry y is less than x and greater than p right so we save it control s and five all right so something is wrong uh, okay so x is greater than y and we are doing ult we are doing exactly so we just got it wrong okay so so we just corrected it x is greater than y in this case x is greater than y and y is less than p that's not right again okay so we have to use the same signature same sign okay x is greater than y and y is greater than p right now it's correct right let's see what happens control s right. fine now the condition is made the condition is true so it prints x is less than y and greater than p now we can also use the else statement okay so if something happens then do this else do something else now in this case you can see you only have a single thing or uh, you can do or you can have uh, you know multiple conditions in the if statement but uh, what if you want something totally different okay fine if something the condition is not being met what is to be done okay in the previous case you can see nothing is uh, in there in the output but what if we want to uh, print something in the output okay let's put the same condition okay and use the else statement okay else print uh, the condition is not true okay all right now let's deliberately change this condition okay let's say uh, this is you know three okay now you can see this condition is is not true right because i have changed the number uh, I, I changed the value of x okay now what will happen is that this condition is not going to be true hence the print statement is not going to print uh, it's not going to print the statement okay so it's come down to else it's, it's going to come down to else and then print uh, this particular statement the, uh, the condition is not true all right so let's run this as you can expect uh, it prints the second statement the condition is not true right so uh, you can also you can like you can uh, uh, write multiple uh, you know conditional statements and then finally get down to else if nothing is true then uh, do uh, what else to be done or, or or else do the final thing or uh, just print something okay so we can also use the else if statement okay and then if you are if have done programming in other languages you might have come across else if okay so let's check something like this okay so for else if we use l if so uh, that that means it's else if okay el is for else if okay if x 
is y okay that means if x is less than y and y is less than let's say z then print um, x is less than y and y is less than z all right now we are using another condition if x is greater than uh, y and y is greater than p it's going to sorry it's p right okay so we are going to change it here also okay if x is greater than y and y is greater than p it's going to print this statement and then if s is, x is less than y and then y is less than p it print uh, this statement x is less than y and y is less than p so you can you know uh, write as many else if statement that uh, you want okay let's see we can write else if if x is less than y and then greater than p then print uh, x is greater than x is less than y but greater than p okay all right so now we have this is one condition first condition this is second condition this is third one if all the above statements are uh, not true or false then the else statement is going to run okay so that's by default or it's a default condition okay so nothing is true uh, the final condition or the else condition is going to be met and uh, we're going to print that the condition is not true all right so let's save this and then uh, let's run okay so here it says that a is less than y but greater than p so that's what is being met so the third condition is true in this case that's why we are printing or we can see in the uh, in the result x is less than y but greater than p so this particular statement uh, is something that we can find in the output so that's about the conditional statement um, we can also use uh, the not equal to sign for example uh, you know if you want something like this i talked about the equal to uh, what if not equal what if checking condition of not equal to okay so if x is is not equal to y okay so this is how you can you can write okay if x is not equal to y so this is the way you write the not equal to thing so similarly you can you know use if else and else if statements uh, and you know check the conditions and do some activities based on whether the condition is true or false okay so in the next video we'll see or we'll use the loop concept uh, we'll use the while loop and for loop and uh, use conditional statement like if else st uh, to uh, you know do some activities and you will see how by using loop and uh, conditional statement um, together or the, uh, you can you can perform a number of uh, good a uh, number of different things okay so please subscribe to this channel and you can also visit our website in the description